So here we are at the uh, 16,000 B2 Marinara unit. As you can see, it's mounted. We had to make a custom sort of shelf for it. It's a long closet, but it's really the only place we could possibly fit it. As you can see, we have a series of hoses here. We can just go through them and what they do start to finish. Let's start where, the, where it all starts at. So down here is the through hole fitting that draws in water below the water line. These units are geothermal heat pumps. So they suck in seawater. It goes, goes through the valve into the strainer. This is a sea strainer. And um, in later videos, we can show you, you know, we can pop the lid off. But it goes from through hole to strainer. Through here into the pump is very parallel. All this has to be below the water line because water finds its level point. So the water line may be like here somewhere, which is about 12 inches down to where the pump is. These things have to be below the below where the water level is, which is about here. Um, they suck in water from the through wall, goes through the strainer, this filters out all the heavy particles, goes into this line, and this is all marine grade um, tubing. It goes into the in inbound side, which is here. Goes through the coil, through the heat exchanger, which is this component. And the water just continually circulates through. It comes out where you can see it says out there. That's water coming out of the heat exchanger. Going down through the cabinetry. And then in this closet, um, there are two through holes going out above the water line. Uh, one of them is for the actual outbound water, and the other one is the condensation line, which is that one. And where this one's up so high, we could actually take the condensation right from here. And how the co condensation occurs, warm air gets pulled through the coil, comes through the coil, and the coil is right here, and that gets really cold. So basically, when the air comes in, it's a, it's thawing out the coil. And when you thaw out, you know, something frozen like anything, it turns in, back into water, goes into this tray, then, and then out here, and right out the through wall to the outside of the boat. And this works great. We just happened to be able to do this because the unit was up so high. A lot of times the units are down lower, and we have to pump the condensation. And then, as far as this here is the fan assembly. So this is the rotisserie fan. It draws in air through the coil through here into the fan box and then goes out into ductwork, which is here. And that goes to a four by 12 there. That's totally adjustable. And then a four inch round there, which this one's, you know, also an adjustable vent. So hopefully this answers a lot of questions as to how my marine air conditioning works. So if the filter's clogged here, not allowing air to pull through, it'll freeze the coil up and throw the unit into an E1 to E4 code, which will pop up here on your screen.